Uh, someone else, let's talk about uh, a very uh, interesting guest that we have right now. Her name is Riley Vanderbilt. She's from Team Unicorn. Let's bring her on stage and talk about what she's been up to. Hey, Riley, hey. what's going on? How are you? Hey, uh, everything's going good. Yeah. Uh, we're just uh, filling, it, filling up the uh, stand. Doing nerdy things. Doing talking nerdy about things. What have you been up to? Like, how did you? How did Team Unicorn even start? Oh, Team Unicorn. Um, well, we started, I guess, five years ago, uh, and basically, it was, there was four of us. We were just friends, and we were girls who were nerds, and. Uh, we decided we were going to cosplay at San Diego Comic Con um, in 2010, and we did a Sailor Moon cosplay, and it was super, super fun. And it just, I don't know, when you're filled with nerd passion, it has to go somewhere. And we're all actors and nerds, and we came up with a song, Geek and Gamer Girls, and it was supposed to be a one-off. And we did it and realized that maybe there was something there, and yeah. we needed to continue making things. So. Um, that's kind of how Team Unicorn was born. Um, what, like, so, so you're doing something now with Team Unicorn, right? Like clothing. We are. So uh, when we set out to do Team Unicorn, we didn't just want it to be um, internet media. We wanted, we wanted it to be a bigger brand. And so we have uh, teamed up with We Love Fine. Um, we're one of their partners. We and Love Fine is great. They're like making incredible like t-shirts. The they're mighty fine. You might have heard of them. Yeah. You always got to go check out We Love Fine and see what new stuff you can Well, buy. the great thing about them is they have all these different artists, and they're very collaborative with their fans. And us as fans, but um, also you know a brand, we decided to collaborate with them. And so they just like kick over stuff to us and are like, do you have anything for like Back to the Future? Or do you have anything for Ghostbusters that you know, comes to mind, and you know, we kind of run our ideas, and then they make them, and it's just kind of like magic. It's like, hey, I have this idea, and then it gets made. So, so the Back to the Future dress with like the tire, yeah. with everything on fire from the DeLorean taking off is great. Yes, um, and we're doing a huge promotion with that tomorrow uh, because it's Marty McFly Day. That's right. T tomorrow so is actually cool. the day that uh, Marty McFly came to, to back us. to our future. Yes. Yesterday or tomorrow at like four twenty-seven p.m. They're like doing a bunch of like really cool stuff. So yeah, this is yeah. one of the tie-ins too. So yeah, so we'll be promoting yeah. our dress. Um, I'll be wearing my dress because you know it's cool. Um, but yeah, so we so we've been making a lot of stuff um, for them, which is really fun. That's exciting. Yeah. Uh, Riley, let's yeah. let's let's talk about some news. Let's talk about Vin okay. Diesel. Vin uh, Diesel, the what ultimate D and Diesel <gasps> nerd. Yes. So oh my a, gosh. He wants to do a D a D and D movie. Can can that happen? It we better need that happen. Hap we need that to happen. Wait, didn't it just kind of happen with the real witch of the last witch hunter? That kind of uh, starts to skirt around the world of D&D. &D. Sure. Well, you know, sure. witches, right. vampires, it's, guy with flaming it's not sword. A far reach, yeah, it's I not guess. Yeah, not that far. And he yeah. also, he's been rocking like all kinds of stuff. The uh, uh, necromongers yeah. from Riddick. I don't know if you guys remember the uh, Riddick, the Chronicles of Riddick. Chronicles it's kind of like Riddick. Dune, but with Vin Diesel in it. Yeah. You, you gotta love it. It's like Vin Diesel's such a big he's, nerd. He's great, you know. Uh, yeah, he's a huge nerd, and I've I've heard rumors for years that on his movies he would actually fly his uh, GM out to play games with him to set, which I think wow. is really kind of fun and uber nerdy. Well, and the dungeon master who is friends with uh, Vin Diesel is very lucky. <laughs> he's like, I only fly first class. Where's my private jet? Probably and does. Just so this giant around. dodecahedron, yeah. you know. It's like, uh, yeah, Vin Diesel plays in style. Yes, anyway, I, I want to see Vin Diesel do a D&D yes, movie. Yes, me too. I will in. give him that I'm money. In. I'm Yeah, you've got my, you have my $17. Cash. I'm going to see it in D-Box where the seat's all shaking. <laughs> you got my $22. So let's move on. Let's talk about uh, Hunger Games, Mocking Jay Part Two. So now they're like busting out these trailers like a couple yeah. days before Star Wars. And everybody's kind of in it, right? Everyone, like everybody yeah. who's anybody is now in in the Mocking yeah. Jay. And and it's ending. Yeah, I guess it's it's the end. Well, unless they want to do prequels. They will or do. Something. Yeah. Well, there's money to be found in the Hunger Games. I heard <laughs> yeah. someone told me that. Who knows? Um, let's go back to. Uh, uh, back to the Future for a minute. They actually yeah. have a working hoverboard now. Yeah. Uh, is there a Kickstarter? Where can I send my money and huh. can I get one? That's right. That's I don't know. All I want to know. I don't even I know if it's a Kickstarter thing. I think they were just like, "Yo, we're just selling this. We're gonna as soon as they figure it out." They had one that didn't they're really close. work. I yeah. mean, they're close. They're it's kind of big. Out. It's in, like magnetic or something. I don't know how it works. Magic. It's like a D and D thing. Yeah. I'm, I'm, all, for, I'm, I'm all, all for that. Yeah. I mean, how can you not be? I mean, it's technology. I want to see I, someone wearing your dress on, working that hoverboard. <laughs> The Back to the Future dress, that's the perfect tie-in. You yeah. will sell so many dresses. Well, you know, it's, it's you know, science-y. And actually, with science, there's, uh, with We Love Fun, we're actually doing a lot of stuff for science. Like, for us, STEM is really important. STEM is science, uh, technology, engineering, and math, 
um, and women in STEM too. Mm. So we've actually made a whole bunch of like NASA t-shirts that are super, I super fun. I saw those, those are awesome. And then we've got some more STEM stuff coming out. I can't talk about them right now because they're not out yet. Well, but, some um, people should immediately order these NASA t-shirts. Oh my God, they're so fun. They, Anybody who supports NASA <laughs> is a friend of mine because it's like that's the ultimate nerd dream to go to the moon.